Are you a Splinter Cell? No. Hey, make sure to hit that like button. It helps us out. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and comment and we will reply to you. What's up, Jared? Oh, yeah. Welcome to another exciting episode of Does It Hold Up? The show where we go back and play classic games on the original consoles and tell you if they hold up. Yeah. No emulators. You don't at this point you None don't have to it. this is the fourth we None don't have to that. Yeah, but what if this is the first time they're coming on board and then they're like, I wonder what does it hold up as and now that they know we know everybody knows, I know, you know. I work here. Good. I'm John. I'm Alex, and today's game is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Stuff action redefined. Why did you did you just pull a gold member? <laughs> no, it says it on Splinter the box. Cell. The game came out in two thousand two on the Xbox, PlayStation Two, Mac, computer, GameCube around that time. Two thousand two. Yeah. Not 2001. Or 3. Came out in 2. Shut the f So the original Splinter Cell on the Xbox and PC and all them joints were made by Ubisoft Montreal. The PS2 version and the GameCube version, we played the PS2 version, was developed by Ubisoft Shanghai and featured downgraded graphics, an extra level, and a sort of alternate ending. The ending was the same, but the, they were on a boat instead of a couch, but it was the same thing. I don't know why they Boats decided to Boats are like it. moving couches. Like, yeah. Now, if you notice, it says Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Where? On the on the cover. On the cover. Where? On the cover, right there. I don't see it. Tom Clancy is a, a writer of bookies. An author. Yeah. And he has a bunch of different like espionage, military books under his belt. Rainbow Six is uh, a book from Tom Clancy. Uh, so you assume that Splinter Cell would also be a book, right? Yes. No, idiot. The book of Splinter Cell didn't come out till 2004, two years after the original game came out. Ubisoft just slapped Tom Clancy's name on it because sneaky, sneaky mission. Ba, 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 ba. Does that mean Santa's not real? So full disclosure, we sat down and played this game in its entirety, beginning through end. We've even streamed some of it. Yes. We saw videos on YouTube covering the story, beginning to end. We went on Wikipedia, read the plot description, and I still have no idea what this game's about. Samuel Adams Fisher. Is that his name? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is a retired war vet, right? And the government makes a kind of new group called the third echelon. echelon. They like they call him in because some guy is trying to start a war with the Americas or something like that. Sneak, 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 shoot, get caught. For sure. Uh, <laughs> stop World War Three. So how's the game look? It's ugly. <laughs> now show respect, John. Now while the game's graphics did not age well because they went for the photorealistic thing and obviously the, those age horribly. The lighting effects of the environments still hold up to this day. Dark is dark. Dark is really dark. Dark is pretty and dark. And light, light is light. What you're saying is this game looks good if you turn the lights off. So how's the game sound? Honestly, like it sounds good in some parts, but where it was in 2002. So you'll hear like footsteps or people talking and stuff like that. But you have no idea where the hell they're at, if they're in another room, if they're behind you. The music is some of the most litty music ever. Yo, you, you get caught, that beat kick in. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I'm just going to stay here. So is the game fun? No. No, it's not. Holy shit. Oh, my God. It's super frustrating. The mechanics are just ass you can tell it's the first one you can tell it's the first one so the majority of the game you spend sneaking up or trying to sneak up behind people good job fisher just make sure to hide the body so no one finds them Now, there's one issue uh, with that. Sam Fisher's crouching speed is faster than they walk, but it's loud. They'll hear you. So you have to slow down. And in order to slow down to a point where you won't make enough noise where they hear you, they walk faster than you. Your option two, you can shoot people in the face. Ah! 
Wow, why would you do that? I, I tried to shoot you in the head. Why would you just use a gun? This, this is a gun. No, like with, with bullets. It has real bullets well, in what, it. Why the f am I not dead? I don't know you have to shoot you. Why the hell it is? They gave Sam Fisher a standard issued Nerf BB gun. For real. The, the, the mechanics of the games are so clunky because you can't do multiple things at once. If you're dragging a body, you have to drag the body to the door and then you have options. You have to drop the body and then open the door to get the guy through the door. So does it hold up? This might be the first no. I'm gonna say no. I'm feeling a no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. But that doesn't take away from the game. No, never. So in our playthrough, which took us at least 20 hours. <laughs> now the PS2 version that we played is the inferior version. We realized that after the fact upon doing research. So our does it hold up section is strictly for that version. I'm gonna say does not hold up. If you want an old school, amazing Splinter Cell experience, go Chaos Theory. We did enough talking, now it's your turn. In the comment section down below, let us know what you think about Splinter Cell 1. Did you like it? Did you play it? Are you gonna play it? Let us know down below. And while you're down there doing all that typing, let us know what other games you want us to go back and find out if they hold up or not. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.